So we're talking about something a little more on the serious side today, uh, but it's something that needs to be talked about and have light uh, shone on that, and that is the plight of the homeless. Mm -hmm. We unfortunately hear these stories a lot in the news. They make headlines for a day, and then we forget about them. We pass them on the streets. Like you said, oftentimes you don't really take note to reflect on what people are going through and how they got there. So unfortunately, we, have an, we do have a, a face and a name to attribute this to, and a lot of people are caring for this man. Well, and he symbolizes and represents what we as a community can do to come together to help others in this situation. When we go by a homeless person, we see them as nameless. Pretty well, we try not to look at their faces. We try not to make any eye contact whatsoever in case they, they communicate with us. Mm -hmm. um, but we look at them as simply being homeless. We don't give any... Like, have you ever stopped and just given thought, how did they end up here? You know, do they want to be here? How did they end up here? You know, they had a mother and father. A lot of them have, have, uh, have spouses and children. There was one gentleman who I know of downtown after speaking to him, and he ended up where he was because his wife and children were killed in an airplane um, flying over. I don't know where they were, so he never went back home after that. He snapped. Wow. And they, he was a lawyer, and it was, it was so tragic. He, he couldn't go back home, and it was, you know, the mind is very fragile. And so he chose instead to live on the streets. There's mental health issues at play. There's financial issues at play. Um, we, we need to think more of it than just stepping over them on the street. Yeah. We need to think more of it. Yes, I, you know, uh, we're not just talking about giving them a donation or something. It, it, we're talking about changing the way we think and the way we feel. Now, there are some easy ways you can help the homeless before we get to this tribute for, for Gunner. Uh, you go to our, our website, breakfasttelevision.ca. And uh, right on the homepage, there is an easy tips for you on how you can help the homeless. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to pay tribute to a homeless man who died during the cold snap a few weeks ago. And we're going to let you see his face and hear his name. Another homeless person in Toronto may have died a result of this extreme cold. Appears to have been homeless and may have started a fire to keep warm. A lamb of your own flock, a singer of your own redeeming, receive grant into the arms of your mercy, into the blessed rest of everlasting peace, and into the glorious company of the saints in light. Everyone keeps talking about the smile. <laughs> I know. That's why I tried to find them all with him. He's always smiling. We think of someone who we describe as homeless as being having no family, right. having, having, having never having a picture taken of himself right. like this. But it's amazing to see these pictures. Yes. Print. Like, he had who tons of family. Tons, tons of family. Of family. The one thing has to start with resolve. We have to just not allow it. Gunner didn't just die there, we let Gunner die there. Uh, people don't just live in sheds, we let people live in sheds. So the minute we decide we're not going to tolerate that anymore, that's until that happens. So there's just no hope. I don't, I don't, I don't see a day where we really, uh, society works up to that kind of resolve.